Gemini, welcome to to our readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of June 19th to the 25th. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. So Gemini, those of you that are celebrating birthdays, um, the final couple days here. Happy, happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating. You guys have a beautiful birthday. Okay. All right, Gemini. So let me just say too, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you can look at your moon, your rising signs. Okay, so the overall energy for you guys for the week is the Hierophant. So for some of you, Taurus could be important this week. Um, so with the Hierophant, you know, the Hierophant represents many different things. You know, just by the looks of the rest of your cards, you know, it, the Hierophant it does represent you know, marriages, committed relationships, you know, could represent the large company, you know, large companies, you know, maybe the company that you work for. You know, could, have, could, have, could have, you know, represent tradition as well, um, you know, and belief systems. And I'm sure it'll play out different for many of you, but you know, whether it's in your relationships or in your career, Gemini, you're definitely, you want to move forward with something, but you're definitely stuck. Okay, we do have the hangman. You know, this is, you know, feeling stuck. I feel like Maybe holding off before making a decision until you're totally sure what you want to do. You know, and when you're ready, you know, you will move forward. You know, right now, this week, the beginning of the week, you, know, you guys are stepping back, taking a break, thinking things, thinking, thinking about things for a bit. You know, with the Hierophant. Maybe thinking about a better way of doing something. You know, with the Five of Pentacles here, you know, you could be waiting on a decision on a decision regarding you know a raise or a promotion or a job. You know, maybe you're looking for a new job. You could be you know, even waiting for Important paperwork, some documents, any maybe legal issues, legal paperwork. But I think you're you're stepping back and, and just looking at how things used to be for some of you. You know, with the Five of Pentacles, this does represent that feeling left out in the cold, lacking faith. Like with the Hierophant, the Hierophant also speaks of, you know, you know, keeping the faith, staying, you know, staying positive. But with the Six of Swords, you're definitely moving past this. You know, maybe it's, you know, something how things have always gone. You know, with the with with the Hierophant card here, you know, and you're debating and 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 you're, you know, feeling like you know you know that there's bumps in the road. You know, there's disagreements. You know, maybe things just aren't going. You 
you know, the way you expected them to or planned them to go. But, but this will definitely pass. You know, you go from... to the Six of Swords, you know, so that you're, you're, you're moving forward. You know, represents, you know, moving from those, you know, turbulent, tough, challenging times, you know, to much more calmer, peaceful times. You're, you're, you're mentally moving forward, you know, toward that, that peace of mind. But it could be in anything, you know, your relationships, your job, whatever it is for you. Um, whatever it is, it's destiny. These are the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. You know, it's, it's, it's meant to be. You're meant to take this new path and move forward. You're just meant to, but you're still... We're still deciding, you know, in the middle of the week. We're still making decisions. These are the butterfly oracle cards. These are by Doreen Virtue. You know, you're, you're wrestling with the, you know, you're unsure. You don't know which way to go. You know, you feel stuck. You know, This is what I usually say with decisions. You know, the answer really does rest in your heart. You, you know what you want to do. You know where you want to go. You know, you want to you want to simplify your life. The dolphins and the mermaids. You know, eliminate clutter from your home, work, to balance the flow of activities. You know, this literally you know, is is. Moving away from, you know, people, situations, you know, environments, like your job with the Hierophant, you know, just moving and simplifying your life to make it much more calmer, peaceful, um, You know, it's, it is a card of, of, of taking drastic measures to simplify your life. You know, it also speaks about, you know, decluttering your house, your home. You know, when you do that, decluttering, that gives you peace of mind. For some, but it, it, it's detaching from some sort of situation. You know, we, Archangel Michael, Dorian Virtue as well. You know, it's it's a situation. You're embroiled in this situation where you know you're you're probably at the point where you can't even see objectively with this card. You know, this card, just like with the hanged man, you know, it's also right in line. You're doing what you're meant to do because this card also tells you to take a step back, you know, look at things, you know, to obtain a bigger picture, a bigger view of the situation. But to deta detach yourself from the surrounding emotions of this. It is absolutely time, and, and it just goes through this whole reading, to leave an unhealthy relationship or a job, and you're ready. These are angel answers during virtue favorite cards ever because all all these past experiences the challenges 
know, maybe you had a big aha moment, you know, you know, something, something's gonna, maybe, you know, enlightenment just hit you, you know, towards the end of the week, you know, and, and or this could have been going on for even a long time, whatever this is, whatever this is for you, but you're ready to move forward. You know, even to just embrace the person that you know is, is in your heart, the person that you're meant to be, that you're destined to be. And everything's okay messages from the fairies. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Beautiful. Whatever the situation that you're concerned about, this card is just reassuring you that everything is okay, but take steps that you need to take, that you can take to move forward. So what's going on in your love lives the tower. Well, that could definitely be an issue for some of you. In all seriousness, Gemini, um, you know, with the Hierophant here, that could definitely be marriages, committed relationships. And, you know, it, it's come to a point where, you know, it's crumbling. You know, it's, it wasn't on stable ground to begin with. And it is, it's coming to an end. Let's see what love cards say. These are the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue. These are the Love to Row by Sarah Barlett. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This could be the one you've already met, already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you could be, you know, married, in a committed relationship, partnership, whatever the case may be. You know, it's definitely time to release this person. I mean, we see that everywhere. It's definitely a, probably a very toxic situation. You know, maybe there was enlightenment, just like the tower, enlightened. You were enlightened with something, found something out. Um, but there's some sort of truth come just something is going to be I do feel like for a lot of you you're defi definitely moving out of relationships that, 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 that some of you guys are definitely ending relationships Others of you, there's, there's going to be a big change. You know, or an, 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 an unexpected external man, matter, whatever. Um, you know, sometimes it's just things that are just completely out of our, out of your control. Um, those of you that are married, partnered, it could be just, you know, something that comes in and shakes up, the, shakes up your relationship. You know, or it just, um, makes it a little bit rocky this weekend, this week. Those of you, they're just ending and you're moving on. Let's get an additional guidance card. I'm doing your weeklies early this week. Um, I am I'm going away for the weekend. Just additional guidance for you guys. Messages from your angels. Flipped 
up, so that's the one that wants to be heard. Oh, that's just beautiful. You guys are moving either to a home, a happy move to a new home, or a place of employment is in the works. And this moment is going to usher in positive energy. You know, sometimes... I was going to say this before we closed, you know, that the tower could represent a home, a structure. You know, you very well could be moving you know, to a new home. Um, maybe, God forbid, there was a fire at your house. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I don't ever usually say that, but I mean... For the most of for most of you, you're either moving forward emotionally or you are literally moving to a new home. And others of you are really just ending your relationships, but you're ready. Whatever this big change is that you're ready to make, just keep the faith, stay positive. And now is the time. This is meant to happen. Definitely with Destiny and the Tower card. This is definitely meant to happen, Gemini. Alright, Gemini. I really hope this reading helps you guys out for the week. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Guys, this is a good change for you. It is. Really. Alright. Guys, have a beautiful, blessed week. I will see you guys back here shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.